Hey guys, Tim here with a quick unboxing of the NEX G50G. Oh, that's 650G. Stay tuned. In this week's episode of Tim Needs to Learn How to Read Upside Down and Backwards, we have the EVGA NEX 650G. So, Yes, two EVGA power supplies in the last couple of weeks. Why? Because great value for money right now. Um, love them. Love them. They're quiet. They work really well. The 430-watt bronze is just a champ. Uh, this is, of course, a gold edition, fully modular. But let's just go ahead and get it open because that's what we all really want to see with power supplies. I can tell you till I'm blue in the face that it's... 650 watts at 50 degrees Celsius, that it has uh, a 53 amp single rail. Sorry, had to stop talking so I didn't kill myself there. This thing is wicked sharp. By the way, Leatherman, uh, this is the one of the newer ones that I actually just got, my wife got me. It's the Wingman. Pretty cool. Not that, you know, Probably you care. However, it does help in opening things because it has the most evil looking knife on it that I haven't yet. I haven't cut myself yet, but we could also tell you that it's 100% Japanese capacitors. We could also tell you that it's a five plus five year global warranty and that it's got an ultra quiet 135 millimeter two bearing fan. Now, that's actually the one thing here, other than the 650 gold, that I care about. So this is going in a silent, optimized build. And to be honest with you guys, for the price and for how just pleasantly surprised I was with the 430 watt, um, this is kind of my go-to modular now for building for other people. I will freely admit that I'm too snooty to use this one and I will show you why that I don't and you will all laugh it's one of those gonna make Logan shake his head moments of course so we have the manual and of course there's a 750 and the 650 a power cable and then we have all of the modular cables which I will go through in a minute and they're loose right now but I have a feeling I got a feeling that tonight's gonna... Oh, sorry. We have some little anti-vibration feet as well as the screws for the back. I wish they were black, but yes, now I'm just being picky in my normal OCD self because this is going in a black case, but it's not for me, so... <laughs> okay, so... The first thing I'm going to say is I was going to complain that there was no bag for the modular cables. However... Um, this is the bag to protect the, oh, sexy wrinkle coat. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. That's a pretty badass coating on that. Um, I was going to complain that there was no bag for the modular power uh, cables, but you could easily just use the one that came off the case or the power supply itself because it is a nice, you know, woven bag. So just use that. Way to go. Thinking, uh, you know... It is one of those things where I do, I'm not the greenest person around, but it is nice to see that, you know, you could easily do that. And now we come to the sexiness that is the 650 watt EVGA power supply. Um, so I got a couple of gripes and this is nothing to do with the power supply itself. But if you're like me, these things are going to matter. The first thing is the handle. So this does make it not compatible with some cases. Um, for me, the the cost, I, I really wish they would have made this removable or not have it at all. I don't know. Um, I don't know a reason to have it. That's probably the best way I can put that. Um, it must have been for a specific reason. But I've never used a case where I need a handle on my power supply. So I don't know. I don't know why it's there. Um, that's one, that's probably my biggest complaint with this. Uh, the other one would be, 
that they have the sticker for the power wattages on both sides. And like I said, this is one of those only Tim would complain about it. And usually you're going to do down facing. So they have the serial number and stuff on the top. You know, if it dies and I need to send it in for warranty, for the love of God, put the stickers where I don't need them until I have to pull the power supply. Uh, my last cosmetic complaint is, of course, the most ridiculous one. Because I do like, I mean, this thing looks really good. And I'll be honest with you guys, if, if it wasn't for the thing I'm about to talk about, this would go pretty much in every build I do from now on. For the love of God, and these are really nicely done. So if you have a black and red theme build, um, like we're doing for this customer, uh, this is awesome. But red, uh -huh, eh, eh, my builds are all black and white. So, however, there are individually sleeved uh, cables coming from EVGA for these power supplies. So that's pretty badass. So, other than, you know, this, just, they, just the powder coating on this is really, really nice, guys. And like I said, nothing from EVGA here. This is, you know, I bought this for uh, building for somebody else. Okay, so on the back here, we have your 24-pin, your 8-pin CPU, a secondary 8-pin CPU, four VGAs, SATA, 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 PADA, PADA, which basically they're all the same, let's be honest. Okay guys, so in the bundles, and I'm going to leave them in the bundles until I need them for this build, to be honest with you. Uh, but I will show you some of the things I really like. The sleeving on these is, you know, okay. I'm going to say, you know, the, the, the heat shield or the shrink wrap doesn't go all the way up, but... These are some of the nicest stock cables that I've seen yet. I mean, just the fact that this isn't the, the most heavy duty um, sleeving. However, they took the time to use black on all of the cables, which guys really does increase the production cost because it makes them take longer to put together. It, they look really nice and I think you know they're gonna look really good in this build and I'll show you when the reds come up uh, there's actually only one thing that bothers me with the reds and it's yet again another one of those you're gonna be like oh my god but EVGA you really need to hire me to be OCD over over some of your parts for you so this bundle is three the three SATA and each one has three SATA connectors on it these are the PADA, which are just, I guess, Molex. So it's two PADA, and they actually say Perif. Must mean peripheral. And they each have three Molex connectors on the end of them, because I guess Molex actually is a brand name. Here's your 24 pin and two 24 pin, which is, it's nice that it's actually not it's not a you know 20 plus 4 this is a hard 24 to 24 uh, I really like that when you're building because it makes it a lot nicer and here's a little um, adapter to you know floppy drives and they didn't use you know super high-end or you know they didn't do the uh, the all black there but to be honest with you guys how often do you use those uh, you can always just buy an aftermarket one from like NZXT or something if you really want it to be all black and sleeved. <clears throat> Here are your two. Uh, that's the CPU side or the uh, the power supply side. To okay. Here are your eight pin CPU to eight pin CPU. They're split four by four. Which is, of course, you know, nice to see because what if you have a motherboard that, uh, you know, has an 8-pin and a plus 4 like the Asus formula that I use. Always nice to see those split, even though I don't like the 24 split. And then, some really cool looking cables, to be honest with you guys, for, you know, just stock with 
The power supply, these are the VGAs. They are red, all red wire, all red sleeving, and drop the ghost with the black heat shrink. So close! Yes, my that kills my OCD. Um, but this is going in a case that's going to be red and black themed and uh, have a knock to a cooler in it, so that really doesn't matter. So, would I recommend this? Yes, with a couple of caveats. First is, you need to make sure it's going to work with your PC. Check the EVGA website, or you can tweet at Team EVGA, and they've always been very good about getting back to me about where I can find information on things. Other than that, um, you know, the red, not my cup of tea, but I think it's going to look very slick in this build. And I've been very, very pleasantly surprised with the 430B and how quiet it is, which is one of the reasons that made me purchase this uh, for the person I'm putting this together for. So you guys, you can check out the um, link down here to the entire playlist and the build videos. But this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. We'll see you next time. Tim, for Timmy Tech TV, for Timmy Tech TV. <laughs>